Today we'll be reviewing Natural Reader 14, a reader technology. Some of the development information is, is that it's owned by AT&T Company as Natural Soft Limited. It was created by Natural Soft Limited in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and developed and released in October 2015. Their mission is to deliver superior speech solutions. Now, how to use the reader. I think um, downloading it was super easy, so we'll learn how to download it, add documents, use it on websites, as well as upgrade options. So let's go ahead and get started. When you go to naturalreaders.com, this is the first page that you're gonna see. You can go ahead and look at the information for the free column and you'll notice here that there's a text to speech option as well as document, listening to web pages, change speaker and speed, a floating bar, which is like a media player. So if you don't need the whole big screen, for instance, you can get just the small floating player to have a play button and a pause button. And lastly, in software help. Now, I think this reader would be great for students that are English language learners or visually impaired. Um, it would help in your classroom for those types of students. And so for the purpose of those students, the free version is just fine. You don't need all of the bells and whistles in order to use it. And as long as they're using headphones, they should be able to hear um, the speaker very clearly. So when you're ready to download, you're gonna go ahead to the right hand column and you'll see the download button. Depending on the type of internet browser you have, that's how you'll know um, how much or where to do this at. So when you do it on Mozilla Firefox, for instance, this little download button will come up and you're gonna go ahead and save the file. Now I've already done that. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the actual software that's loaded onto my computer. It took about one minute to load it onto my computer. And once I did, this is what came up. So you'll see there's a sample PDF as well as um, this Welcome to Natural Reader text-to-speech software information. I downloaded this ELL social studies PDF and um, this Word document. And the reason why I downloaded those is just to kind of show you the difference when you're listening to two different things. Now, as for the web page one, I noticed that it can do really simple web pages that don't have a lot of things coming in and out, such as um, like an AOL.com that's constantly switching its news feed. That was really difficult for it to read. But if you stick to something simple that has a lot of text on it and not a lot of changing scenery, I notice it does just fine with that. And let's go ahead and um, add a new one just to show you guys what's going on. And you can see right there for the new one, you're just gonna go ahead and open a document from your file. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab history of zombies. And you'll notice in the background, it just popped up and now it's ready to go. The sentence that it's gonna be reading will always be highlighted. Now in PDFs, the whole sentence is highlighted, but not the word but in Word documents, the both the sentence and the particular word it's reading is highlighted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a, a idea of what it sounds like. This is Zira, and then there's also David. Obviously, if you buy the other version, which is $69.95, um, you will get uh, many different choices. And I tend to like speed one, um, speed, negative nine is super slow. Uh, speed six or seven is way too fast for anyone to follow along. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you speed one. A history of zombies. Almost everyone is familiar with the modern zombie, a shuffling, ravenous, reanimated corpse that terrorizes and and I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there and let you listen to negative two. Now I'm a super fast reader so things like that help Eats me. Humans. But since zombies aren't real, how did their legend get started? And you notice the difference there, especially for an English language learner, that slowly really works much better. Now, to go to back to the library, if we're gonna go onto a Word document, 
it's just loading it. It doesn't take too long. We're going to go ahead and um, get started with where I left off. And you can see right there, it's in yellow where I left off. And you can push play. The rebels intercepted the government transportation on the Yangjichu Canal. And notice how as it's being read, it highlights the particular word, which is an excellent resource. Now let's go ahead and go back to the library. And if you, um, like I said, talked about the floating bar, notice the small uh, media player here, but you can go ahead and go back to the normal one. You can easily upgrade whenever you like to. There's a few settings that you can work on such as the type of speaker, the speed, the display, and the theme. And I'm going to just go ahead and push OK. And um, that covers it. I hope you guys enjoy it and are able to use it in your classroom. This is an example of how to use your natural reader in Second Life. Once you are logged into Second Life and open the Natural Reader you can click on the floating bar tab. This should allow you to see Second Life with the Natural Reader toolbar on top and accessible. Although you cannot see my Natural Reader toolbar in this video like it was shown in the previous video. You will be able to click and drag the Reader toolbar around as needed. I am on the tower in Genome Island here in Second Life. When you have clicked on a note card like this, the note card will appear and now you will have to highlight it and then it is ready to play in the reader. My reader toolbar does not show in this video but you can hear it reading the note card to me. You can click on the text tab on your toolbar and it will show the text that it is reading and highlight it as it is read to you. When DNA is mutated, or changed, the encoded protein may also be changed. One common type of change is a base substitution. The most common substitutions are between bases of the same type, e.g. A, the purine adenine, replacing G, the purine guanine, or C, the pyrimidine cytosine, replacing T, the pyrimidine thymine, or vice versa. However purine to pyrimidine replacements can also occur. This is just a sample of what can be done with Natural Reader to enhance your learning in the virtual world and in your real life. Hopefully, this video helps you with your learning experience in SL.